Using markers in your clips is a useful way to split them up into smaller parts, uh, especially in documentary. Uh, you might be capturing 5, 10, 20 minutes of a clip. Uh, when drama, you normally capture one shot at a time. Um, so when you go to your clip, if you <coughs> double click on it and open it up in the viewer and press play, and we want to start one of our clips here so we hit M for Mary and then we hit it again and we could label it sprinkler and the comment is green and then if we look over here we'll see it has put in a marker and uh, comment. So we'll continue along. So we press play. Mark Smith, my name, I'm Executive Officer for Dairy Taz. Uh, and we hit M and Mark M again for a marker. We'll put in Mike. Dairy Taz. And what we found is that we have a <coughs> marker here and its in point is where the marker is and its relative out point is where the next marker is. So if we come down to a new sequence, we can have a look at that. So if we drag down the clip and drop it into the sequence, what we see here is just that it is the clip <coughs> that we have determined by the in point where we put the marker and the out point is the next clip. The only snag with this is is that you cannot drag this clip out. If you need to have access to more of that clip or subclip, uh, you can drag down the whole clip and what you'll notice there is that the markers are there and so if you need to drag it out you can go to that extra point and drag it along and maybe split the clip there. You can navigate your way around markers so if you open up the clip and if you go <coughs> shift up or down arrow that takes you between markers and tells you what the marker is up here and its associated comment. The same down here, if you click on the clip and select it, it will go um, between markers. You can also use markers actually in the sequence itself, so if a clip is not selected you can put in a marker up here and again hit M again and we can label it there and that marker will appear there and it's the same navigation where if we put in another one here and shift up and down it goes between markers but remember markers in sequences are only relevant to a point in the sequence, they're not relevant to a clip, so if we dragged the sequence along it's not going to bring those markers with it.